Coach, it seemed especially that third set, your offense struggled. What were some of the problems that you saw with the way the offense and the high errors that, that uh, amassed tonight? We were we were just a little out of sync and tentative, and um, uh, you know, but our middle attack was really good. It was just mainly our outside hitters, and you know, uh, they're amped up a little bit. They're a little anxious, and they they just uh, uh, get underneath the ball and have a hard time. And that's why. And then, but they're trying to hit their shots, and that's why they make errors. But we we got it slowly corrected as the match went on, and got in a pretty nice rhythm. Andrew Ward. Hey, John, Lauren was saying that the, the first two sets, the energy in the building kind of th threw you guys off a little bit just with the lack of fans. And, you know, you could f hear a pin drop, I think is what, what she said, or a penny drop. Just what was the energy like in, in your mind? Well, I think our – we don't know how to play without 8,000 fans. And, and it's a, this is our first home match. Remember that. You know, we were at Indiana. They're pumping in crowd noise and all that. This is our first home match that we've played without 8,000 fans. So – we probably underestimated the impact that that would have on our energy, and and we were just flat. And you know, and I, they were excited to play, but they were just flat because I think they're used to feeding off that energy. And so we're going to have to learn how to play without those fans. And you know, this is one of the negatives, I guess, selling out since 2001. <laughs> You know, with COVID, I guess if you play somewhere where there's no fans, you're used to it. And that was that's always one of my big worries when we go to some places that don't have fans is our energy goes down. And, and uh, I think we were a little flat tonight. But, again, we, we made an adjustment and pulled ourselves out a little bit. Austin Kingsley. Coach, you served to uh, Maryland's left sides a lot in this match, and they made some back row subs as the match went on. How would you assess how well – your service pressure sort of threw off their offense? I thought at times it was really good. We stressed them. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, had our, we, we followed our game plan really well. Um, they hit it pretty well. And um, so, um, you know, they served us tough at times too. So it's just part of college volleyball. But I thought, I thought our serving was, was good tonight. Uh, I, I think we got another notch in us still. Brent Wagner. Yeah, with with Lauren hitting 850, how much of that is a, a product of some of the things you're trying to change with your offense, and how much is that just Lauren being a great player? Uh, it's a combination of, of Nicklin um, being able to find her in, in a lot of situations. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is Lauren's been working really hard. I've I've seen Lauren uh, this past year, and I think you guys have seen in her interviews. She loves this team. She's a captain. I've never seen her work so hard since she's been here. And uh, I, I think uh, you know Tyler has helped Nicklin to be comfortable getting her the ball. And there's you know she's forcing her a little bit, but Lauren's also doing a really good job of managing the game when it's not there of doing something smart. And uh, again, her. Uh, you know, her volleyball IQ and her work and watching video and studying great players, this is, it's pay, it paid off tonight. Lincoln Arneal. What, did you ever consider pumping in crowd noise or would you ever consider that for home matches? Uh, we're talking about it right now. They're talking about it out there. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we're, we're going to consider it. We hadn't to this point because – we all talked about it. We talked about it as a team, and we just thought it might be kind of weird. But now we may – they're talking about it. So we'll see. The players, the players will make the decision what they want to do. So it's the players' decision on the crowd noise or – Yeah, whatever they, whatever they want at home, that's what we're going to do. Uh, at the end of the second, second set, uh, Akana was back there for set point and – got the serve in, wasn't a very tough serve, and then they came, Maryland came right back at her. What kind of learning moment was that for her, and how can you build off of that? Um, she, she was tentative, and uh, she got tentative as that mat, in, during that match, but again, she pulled herself out of it. It's her first home college match as a freshman, and um, so uh, I've seen her do that before. She, she can pull herself out when things – but you know, Pritchard hit a great serve – 
uh, after they side, they had made a great side out. I probably now would have called it, should have called a timeout right there because they were pumped up because that was a heck of a kill Pritchard had down the line on that side out. And then she crushed a serve that was a really tough serve. But we still had a chance to come back and win that game and just, you know, you know, kind of gave, didn't, didn't take it. We didn't take it. We were waiting for them to give it to us, and they didn't. Andrew Ward? Yeah, Lauren mentioned this as well, but uh, Ani Evans came in at the end of the third set, I think it was, and she had a she had an ace in her first time. Just then, the bench seemed to just kind of erupt after that. Just what kind of energy does she bring? And Lauren said that she's you know kind of a team player there and the ultimate team player. Well, she is. The team loves her. She she is an ultimate team player, and um, we got to continue to look for more opportunities to let her get in there. But uh, you know. When she first got here, I would kid her that she had a Waverly JV high school serve, and she's worked really hard on it, and she gives us fits in practice. So I was not surprised. Marilyn, I don't think, passed one of her serves. And uh, so, she, uh, you know, we see that all the time. And, and I'm just happy she had the confidence to come in and the belief, and I think that's, you know, how much that team really, really cares about her and supports her, and, and she did a really good job.